Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. This is Coogan Cassius Fry from London. We're at the David Price and Matt Skelton press conference ahead of their bout on the 30th of November at Aintree for the British and Commonwealth Heavyweight title. With me, I've got the promoter of that show, Frank Maloney. How are you, Frank? I'm OK, thanks, yeah. It's a very nice scarf you have on there, Frank. Colourful. Very <laughs> colourful. Um, Frank, what sort of, since you announced this after the Price and Harrison uh, uh, fight press conference, which was done very quickly, um, what sort of response have you had from well, just the general public and the people in boxing about uh, Matt F Face and David? Well, I've had some good and some bad. You know, you've got, you've got to take the good with the bad. Some people say it shouldn't be happening. Some people say, um, you know, it's an easy fight. And I had to disagree on both of them occasions, uh, not just because I'm the promoter of the fight, because I know Matt Skelton personally, and I've worked with Matt Skelton. Matt Skelton brings something to the table that no other fight has done. You heard him talking here about pride and honour, and sometimes pride overtaking what he should have done in a couple of other fights. That's why I know he will give 110% in that ring, and I believe he will take David Price into territory that Price has never been into before. You know, he'll hit Price up the side, I'm knocking over bottles. He'll hit, he won't hit price of a bottle because <laughs> he'll have gloves on. Um, but, um, you know, he, he'll hit David in place on the side of the head. He will hit David anywhere. He will make David work. And I think for the first time, take David into, into a, a, a pit-like atmosphere, a pit-bull atmosphere. Um, if you take Tyson Fury out of the equation, who is there left at domestic level for David to face? Maybe Richard Taz. Um, I hear that he's fighting an eliminate for the Commonwealth title. All he need to do is pick up the phone and ask me, and, I, and I'd let him fight for the Commonwealth title and, and the British title straight away. But, you know, if he wants a bit more experience, so be it. You said in the press conference that um, Matt Skelton will offer something to David Price that he hasn't faced before. What do you think that is? Well, it's what I said. He'll take him into territory that I don't think he's been. He'll be on David's chest. That's how he fights. He'll he'll stick to David like a rash, you know, and he'll hit David with his elbows, with his um, arms, with his head. It will it will be a baptismal or far for David Price. Um, you said about a potential show that could happen early part of February or the late part of February. Uh, could that possibly be in London, Frank? No. Um, again, it would be one more in Liverpool. Um, and then after that, we would move to London. There's one fighter that I never mentioned at the press conference that I'd like to see if we could get, and that could be a good London fight, um, is our friend Derek Shizor, if he got back his British licence. Would you like to make that fight straight away? Yeah, I think so. Derek's a good fighter. He, um, he brings something to the table again that David hasn't faced. His experience alone would be um, worth, worth that fight, you know. But then if Freddie Flint have had three wins, he could fight David for the, for the British title, you know, because we're running out of heavyweights. <laughs> Um, Freddie Flintoff also fighting on the same night uh, across the road in Manchester. He is, um, but seriousness, you know, I'm. A, I think the border control giving Freddie Flintoff a license was wrong. He's 30 something years old. He's he wouldn't have got an amateur license because he was too old. It, this is why people don't take our sport serious. You know, I've nothing against Freddie Flintoff training, having a fight, but he should have gone maybe into the celebrity boxing or into white collar boxing before he was allowed to go in the ring. We don't know. Um, who was the other sports star that came in? Cracknell, and you know, one in the ring after training. He got hit, look what happened to him. So you don't firmly believe that Freddie can make some sort of career out of boxing? He's a heavyweight. Do you, I'll put it back to you. Do you think he could ever fight and win the British title? Name me one heavyweight. Sam Sexton, David Price, Matt Skelton, uh, John McDermott, Tyson Fury, Richard Tech. Could he beat any of them? The idea of Freddie fighting, would you not think that it could appeal to um, the non-boxing fan and bring a bit of publicity to boxing? No, I think it makes people look at boxing as some kind of joke sport, and that's wrong. We are a, a, a sport of people that are very passionate about our sport, people who work hard at our sport. It, it, it's a publicity stunt, isn't it? As Frank Warren quoted it, it's car crash TV. Um, your bill on the 30th is a, it's a bumper bill. You've also got uh, Darren Hamilton and um, Steve Williams fighting for, the, for Darren's British title. Yeah, that's a good fight. Um, it's a fight that should, you know, was, was booked for the, for the um, Echo Arena card, but we moved it on as chief support for this fight. Um, and, you know, again, it gives Liverpool another champion if he comes through. But Hamilton's a good fighter. You know, he'll, he'll travel up from London and he'll, he'll do his um, utmost to keep his title. He took it against all odds in Liverpool anyway. 
All right, Frank, thank you very much for talking to IFM London. Get a show in London, Frank, because you know, we want to see a show in London. We want to see David Price in London. No, we will be looking at that. You know, um, It's just a matter of making sure we concrete that fan base in Liverpool the way they've done with other fighters, and then we start um, moving David around the country. Frank Maloney, thank you very much for talking after London and keep hold of that scarf. Oh, Will, I bought this in Las Vegas, it's good. <laughs> thank you very much, Frank.